I notice a wide dirt path in the middle of the woods. I notice a black beetle walking on the deck. I notice a rock wall in the woods. I notice grass growing through cracks in the pavement. I notice two geese standing on top of the roof. I notice lots of buildings between the trees in the valley. I notice thousands of rocks on the side of the hill. I notice a cairn in the middle of the grass. Good morning, my environmental detective friends. Looking forward to doing some new investigations and detective work with you. Let's go find clues right here in our own neighborhood environment. Good morning, my environmental detective friends. My name is Amanda, but because we're outside today in nature, I'm going to go by my nature name, Wild Chives. Last time we were together, we watched that video of that little baby squirrel. And today we're going to read and talk and think a little bit more about the acorns that we saw under the tree where the squirrels were living. And I have all of those acorn tops in my hand. And today we're going to start off by playing a game with the acorns. Let's count to make sure we have 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to count another way um, to make sure that we have ten. We're just going to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, now that we're sure we have ten, let's play a little game. I'm going to put some acorns in my left hand and some in my right, and we're going to try to use one of the acorns, or the acorns in one of my hands to guess how many we have in the other. Okay, so I'm going to move some of the acorns around. All right, in this hand, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine acorns. Hmm, how many do you think I have in my other hand? Let's find out. We have nine, ten. 10 acorns all together. Let's practice counting up again. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's play one more time. You can play this at home too. You don't need to use acorns. You can use whatever you have. Okay. All right. In this hand, I have one, two acorns. Hmm. How many do you think I have in my other hand? Take a minute to think. Okay, we have one, two, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have eight acorns. Is that what you said? Let's make sure we have 10 all together. Are you ready? Let's start with eight. Eight, nine, 10. 10 acorns. All right, are you ready to read a little book about acorns? I am too. Okay. All right, today we're gonna read a book and it's called Because of an Acorn. And remember in our game, we just played with the acorn tops. But in this book, it's gonna teach us all about what happens when an acorn is planted in the ground and how all of the things in nature are connected in different ways. And so when we read today, you're gonna to help me and you're gonna help me by acting out some of the parts. And acting out means that we're gonna stand up. So if you're sitting down, take a minute to stand up 
and you're gonna pretend to be different things in the story. And I'll help you, we'll do it together. Okay, so we're gonna read Because of an Acorn, and the author's name is Lola Schaefer and Adam Schaefer. Hmm, they have the same last name, so I'm wondering if they're in the same family. I don't know, but they wrote the book, so they're the authors. And then the illustrator is Fran Preston Gannon. And the illustrator is the person who draws the pictures. Because of an acorn. A tree. Hmm. What's happening to that acorn? Well, I'm seeing there's a little shoot growing up. I'm also seeing, see how we can see under the grass and the dirt? I'm also seeing some little roots growing down. So let's pretend to be that acorn. You can get on the ground and get really small into a tiny little ball. And then take a minute and slowly stand up. See if you can get your arms and your body to feel like that tiny acorn shoot, that tiny little shoot coming out of the acorn. Oh wow, look, now our little acorn is really starting to grow into a tree. Because of a tree, see if you can stretch up a little bit higher because our tree is growing. Because of a tree, a bird. I see that bird. I see it's flying and I also see a nest in the tree. Hmm. Take a minute. Can you fly around? Not around the whole room, but maybe just a little bit in your space. Stretch your wings out. Really imagine what it's like to be that bird flying to that nest. Okay, fly on over to your nest and let's keep reading. Okay, so wow, that, that acorn has grown into the tree and now it's a home for that bird and its nest. Because of a bird, a seed. Hmm. What's that bird doing? Wow, I, I see that the bird had grabbed that beetle and now the seeds are being shaken off the tree. Because of a seed, a flower. Just like that little acorn started growing into the tree, the seeds that fell on the ground when the bird grabbed that beetle and shook the tree, now they're growing into a flower. Because of a flower, a fruit. Did you know that? That fruit, different types of fruit, they grow from plants and they're a flower first. I like to eat fruit too. Here's all of our, all of our fruit. They look like oranges to me. <laughs> look at that little chipmunk. It looks like he wants to eat one. Because of a fruit, a chipmunk. Because of a chipmunk, hmm, what do you think's gonna happen next? Let's look at the picture. I think I heard some friends say they noticed the snake Good observation skills. Mm, I'm a little worried for that chipmunk. <laughs> because of the chipmunk, a snake. Yeah, chipmunks are one of the things that some snakes like to eat. Because of a snake, a hawk. Right? All of these different plants and animals are connected. Just like the snake likes to eat chipmunks, Hawks like to eat snakes. There's that hawk carrying that snake away. I also see some bears here. I wonder if they're gonna be part of the story next. Because of a hawk. Let's take a minute and look. There's a lot happening in this picture. 
it's that. I think I heard a friend say it's an acorn again. Yeah, the acorn is falling from the tree. There's some other acorns still on the tree. There's our squirrel. We know that squirrels like to eat acorns. I wonder why, if that's why he's in the tree. And there's our bird in the nest again. Hmm. Because of a hawk, an acorn. And because of an acorn, can you get small like that acorn again? A forest. If you're small like that acorn, can you go and stand up nice and big and tall and imagine that you're just one tree in that giant forest? Whoa, look at all of those trees. The end. My environmental detective friends, oh my gosh, there were so many things happening in this book and that were all connected because of that little acorn. We had to use a lot of our observation skills. Um, I mean, we used our, our sense of sight today um, to really look closely to see what was happening in that book. Do you remember our snake and our chipmunk? We're gonna go over to the sit spot together and we're not gonna go very far but you can pretend to either be the snake or the chipmunk. And so if you wanna be the snake, you can slither to our sit spot. If you wanna be the chipmunk, you can chatter and kind of scurry over to our sit spot. So I'm gonna be the snake and I'm gonna slowly slither over to our sit spot right over there. We're here in my sit spot and we're just outside Bahia Vista School. Remember, your sit spot can be anywhere. It's just a place for you to go and feel calm and observe nature. And today we're gonna to use our eyes and our ears to observe what's around us. But um, remember, you only need yourself in your sit spot. And then you can also bring a notebook or a piece of paper and a pencil or something else to write with. And you can draw what you're observing. You can write it down or if you have a phone or a camera, you can take a photo. So before we begin our observations, let's first take some deep breaths together. So breathe with me. We're gonna take three deep breaths. So let's close our eyes and breathe in. And out. And breathe in. and out and breathe in and out. Let's check in and hear how we're, and let's check in to see how we're feeling. You can check in with the feelings tree if you want. You might be feeling happy today. You might be feeling frustrated. Maybe you had an argument with someone in your house. But let's take a minute and check in with our feelings and however you're feeling is okay. You may even be feeling a couple of things at the same time. I know that taking those three deep breaths and checking in with my feelings helps me feel a little more calm. And when I feel calmer, um, it's easier for me to make observations in nature. But sometimes, those things, maybe they're not even making you feel more calm and that's okay too. Sometimes just being in our sit spot, that's the thing that makes you feel calm. So I have my notebook and my pencil. So let's take a few minutes and look around with our eyes and listen with our ears and see what we can observe from our sit spot. So over here, I'm observing I see some dandelions, those little yellow flowers. And I see them, they're in the midst of this grass over here on the other side of the sidewalk. And they're kind of swaying with the breeze. There's a little bit of wind. I can hear that too. So I can kind of see them moving around. I also kind of hear that wind rustling through the trees a little bit. 
to use my ears for a minute and just see what I can hear. Why don't you use your ears too? I can hear some birds chirping in a few different directions. I can hear some birds chirping across the street and I can hear some birds chirping behind me. It sounds like there are a few different kinds of birds out today. I also hear something else in the distance that's not a nature sound. It's something that's human made, but I hear what sounds like maybe a leaf blower or some other machine in the distance. I also just heard a car drive past. It was driving kind of slowly, so it wasn't very loud. And over here, I also hear kind of a little chattering sound. It almost sounds like there are some tiny animals maybe running up and down um, the tree over there. I can hear a lot of different things around me. So I'm just gonna take a, a couple more seconds and just look around and see what else I can observe with my eyes. We already talked about the flowers over there. I can also see two trees over here. One, one looks like maybe it's a really young tree. It's almost like a sapling. It doesn't have that many branches growing off of it and it's pretty short compared to some of the other trees. And I see one next to it that looks a little bit taller. I wonder how much longer it's been growing. So friends, now that we've had some time to make some observations from our sit spot, we're gonna go visit Alpine at the ranch and he's gonna teach us more of the sevens game. So if you remember, the sevens game um, is when we pat and we might do some clapping and snapping, but let's just practice the first part together before we go see Alpine. Ready? We're gonna pat our, our legs seven times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Have fun with Alpine. Okay, so I'm actually gonna teach you stage six and stage seven first, and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna do all of the stages together. So stage six is the most difficult of the stages, and it's the most different of all the stages. And it goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. So again, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then stage seven is really the easiest and one that's quite fun. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we'll do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Seven. And you can have a little attitude when you do that last one too. It makes it kind of fun. So here we go. We're going to do all seven stages now, starting with stage number one. Remember, we do each stage twice. And uh, here we go. Ready, begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 Stage six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good job, everyone. Hope you're having fun getting out in your neighborhoods and doing notices and observations. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Welcome back, my environmental detective friends. 
Later, when you're in your own sit spot, you can write down, you can draw, or even take a photo of any of your observations. Um, remember, the only thing that you need in your sit spot is a pencil and something to write on. If you can, send us your observations. We would love to see what you're observing. Um, if you have any questions or wonderings in your sit spot, you can send us those too. I wonder what made the path and how long it took to make it. I wonder where the beetle is going. I wonder why humans built a wall in the middle of the woods. I wonder how long it took for the grass to grow through the pavement. I wonder why the geese are standing on top of the roof. I wonder how humans decided where to build those buildings. I wonder who put all of those rocks there. I wonder why someone made a cairn in a place where there are no people. I notice a squirrel with a long tail. I notice a squirrel with an acorn in her mouth. I notice a squirrel standing on her hind legs. I notice little flowers growing on the grass. I notice many acorns with only their tops. I notice a salamander on a leaf. I notice a wasp's nest under a roof. I notice an orange flower growing out of a crack between the sidewalk and the wall. I notice a hummingbird flying up to tiny purple flowers. I notice the sky and the water are many different colors. I notice a group of turkeys walking in the road. I notice flower petals that are closed. I notice a butterfly on the windowsill. I notice a fern with lots of tiny leaves. I notice a mushroom growing. I wonder how the flower can grow from such a small space. I wonder why the hummingbird likes those flowers. I wonder how the sky is reflected on the water. I wonder why most of the turkeys have their tail feathers up. I wonder how the flowers know when to open. I wonder why the butterfly is not flying. I wonder why the tip of the fern is curled up. I wonder why the mushroom is the only thing growing out of the leaves. I wonder why the fur on the squirrel's tail is longer than the fur on her body. I wonder how the squirrel eats the acorn. I wonder why the squirrel only stands on her hind legs sometimes. I wonder why some grasses have flowers and others don't. I wonder why animals only eat part of the acorn. I wonder why the salamander looks wet if it's not in water. I wonder how wasps make a nest. Thank you.